And now I'm joined with Dr. Gil Navin. He is the gold medal recipient for ISMRM this year. And such an immense uh, honor to be with you. You know, you're Professor Emeritus uh, for Chemistry at Tel Aviv University. And you're really a pioneer in this field, magnetic resonance. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, how far you've come. Like, uh, looking back, has it been uh, rewarding, a, a career in this? Well, it has been some time since uh, I started the uh, the subject, uh, you know, I was graduated as a, as a physical chemist, but I was also always interested in biology and so forth. And then I had opportunity to go to do postdoc with uh, Bob Schulman at Bell Labs. And then we heard that it was possible to do in vivo NMR, not MRI yet. MRI was not uh, discovered yet. It wasn't invented yet, yes. No. Uh, so I went again to Bell Labs to do sabbatical, back from Tel Aviv, because I joined Tel Aviv University. It was a fantastic year. In one year, we were able to do the first experiments of live cells. So we had cancer cells and we could see metabolism in our own eyes. We put oxygen and we can see all the metabolites changing, ATP going up. It's really amazing. How did you know that it was good for medicine, that you were able to use this technology for you know, oh, helping people? It was people? obvious, you know, just the, the opportunity to do spectroscopy non-invasive. Usually, what you, in biochemistry, you take the, the, the tissue, you grind it, and you make analysis. But here, with live cells, and you can see the cells living uh, in your own eyes. So this was amazing. This was amazing. What, looking back on your career, such a great career, what was your biggest contribution, you think? What is the proudest well, well, moment? One of them is, is what I said in the beginning. But uh, more recently, we, we came up with a new idea. For m most MRI people, it's still not very well understood, but it's going to, to hit the clinic. It's called double quantum filtered MRI. Oh. <laughs> It does sound kind of complicated. Can you give <laughs> yeah. us a little... Uh, it's just a, a certain pulse sequence, which is very sensitive to tissues with order. So we have done it on cartilage. You know, cartilage is collagen fibers, and collagen fibers has order in them. And you can do, you can, and tendons have a lot of fi collagen fibers, and you can see a spatial imaging of these tissues uh, and when you do MRI with tendons, you see nothing now. But with our technique, you see it's beautiful, the tendon. You see how it's healed, all the degree of healing. It's a new technique. I think this is very important. And now we apply it for nerves. We can see the different fibers of the nerves. So this is the technique, double quantum filtered MRI. <laughs> and you heard it right here on ISMRM TV, this new uh, development yeah. that you're working on. So yeah. exciting. You know, MR has come a really long way since you started in your line of uh, work. Um, what do you see is still lacking? What do you think uh, needs to happen for it to move forward? And You know about functional MRI. You know, in our university, people are using MRI, not physicians, but psychologists are looking for People think what they think, languages, and, uh, and so forth. This is functional imaging. But now there is a new technique, which I'm not involved in it, which is, uh, it's called connectome. It's connection between different parts of the brain. Okay. And this is, uh, they, they can do without any intervention. People uh, just sit and they see how the brain works. And this is something emerging, and it's going to change the world. It's that going is to an change important say. It's going to change the world. Yeah. Okay, we have oh, to leave it at that. Dr. Nevin, so wonderful talking to you. Just exciting developments for the industry ahead. Thank you for the interview. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. <laughs>